Welcome to Headway 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a widgetized area to the Headway footer block. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial, we need to use a child theme. So if you don't already have one, you can learn how to create one from headway101.com, or if you go to child themes on headway101.com, you can download the empty one. Um, there's also the deadline theme, which is a premium theme that you can get. Uh, that's what it looks like. But once you have your child theme downloaded, we're going to go ahead and add uh, just some simple lines of code and you'll be up and running. Alright. So this is the functions.php file of my child theme. And what we need to do is declare a widgetized footer. Um, I cheated and grabbed the code earlier, so I'm just going to paste it in here and sort of show you what we do. And of course, uh, if you go to the blog post, or if you look below this video on the blog post, it'll break down the code more formally. Let me make it larger. Basically, what we want to do is declare a new widgetized area. Um, so let me comment this and say, uh, show footer widgets and make this define widget area. So WordPress uses this register sidebar function to define a new widget area, which is the widget area we're going to pull up in our footer. Um, so then we've got register sidebar array, and we're going to name our footer. Uh, before the widget, we're going to add this class for styling, which is going to be called footer item. And then after the widget, we're going to add just the slash div so that uh, it ends the wrapping. And then before title, we're going to put an h2 tag. Uh, you can change this to whatever you want. And after title, same thing, we're just going to end the tag. So we can make these like h3, h4, or even just like a little span tag with a class if you wanted them to not have that much importance. The next part is our actual function for showing the footer. What we've got is function widgetize footer. Uh, if the footer exists for footer widgets, we want to show it right when headway opens, um, or when the headway footer block opens. That's what this headway footer open is. If you're not going to use a footer block, you can stick it below all the content using a hook. Um, so if you go to the hooks list, you could use something like headway after wrapper. Uh, or even uh, when the wrapper closes. So headway wrapper close if you want it inside the wrapper. Um, but this is specifically for adding it to the footer block. So I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to go to my widgets area. Uh, and here you can see I've already assigned some widgets before from testing. But it's going to say footer widgets. If we open up the website, you're going to see down here my footer widgets are appearing. Um, and I can show you with Firebug that they are actually in the footer block. So like block number five, they're within the footer block. All right, next thing we have to do and the last thing we have to do is just make them line up properly so that they're horizontal. So we're going to add this body.custom div.footer item. Uh, we're going to float it to the left, display them in line. Um, I sort of wrote that twice there. Whoops. Uh, overflow hidden. That's just so all the content stays in the box. Uh, width 30% to make sure that they're all evenly spread across. This is going to give us uh, three columns. And then we're going to add some padding just for spacing. If I hit save. You can see now that they're evenly spaced, uh, they're inside the footer, and you can just add whatever you want here. Um, of course, if you wanted to make more columns, you would basically just need to make their width smaller uh, so that you can fit more in there. So here I could probably add uh, even more, probably like two more. even three more. So you, you kind of get the point. Um, but I'm going to change it back to 30.
And you can see it'll like make more columns if you add even more, or more rows rather, if you add more. Um, but that is basically how you widgetize Headway's footer block. Uh, make sure to check out headway101.com to read the text version of the tutorial, so you can just copy and paste the code into your own child theme files. Uh, and just check out headway101.com for more tutorials. My name is Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.